Believe it or not, Football Manager actually does have uh, difficulty levels. This gets brought up from time to time. You see it every once in a while on the uh, official Sports Interactive forums. You see people talk about this on Reddit from time to time. The truth is, though, that uh, while the majority of us will go and uh, manage our favorite teams, the game kind of does have some built-in difficulty levels. Let me show you what we're talking about here. So um, there are different teams you can choose from when you decide to start a new game, which I obviously have to do, having completely failed out at my last attempt. Um, and uh, the team that you decide is going to have a lot to do with the sort of uh, uh, the sort of experience that you have. And so I'll look at a couple of teams that I usually manage and sort of show you what's going on. Um, I lived in Augsburg for uh, many years, for two years actually, um, and uh, really enjoyed the city. And so it's always fun to play with um, Augsburg. We look over there, though, at the uh, senior staff, and uh, we want to take a look uh, especially at the age of the players. You'll see the sort of problems you're going to run into when you play with this team, right? You have a number of players, um, uh, Gikiewicz, um, Baumgott, uh, Linger, um, Caliguri, uh, Thomas Stobel, Andre Hahn, who are like over 30 years old. These guys are only going to get worse. I know that in Football Manager, like technically, you know, it's no longer the case that guys like go off a cliff once they hit age 27. But that doesn't mean that uh, you're going to have a whole bunch of uh, success playing with a bunch of 35 year olds. You can in some leagues, but especially if you're doing something like World Super League, it's not going to work. Other thing you want to look at are these injuries. Oh, look, so Strobel, who I know from playing before, happens to be a leader, is out for seven months due to damaged cruciate ligaments. He's also 32, right? you kind of want to stay away from that because you're going to have problems. You're going to have a lot of problems when you're trying to play with this team. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, see what else we can find here. It's going to take me probably a second or two to find some of these um, other uh, teams that uh, we usually play with. I'm looking for Ingolstadt. I'm not quite sure. It might not be there. We may have to go over to Bundesliga 2 in there. They are Ingolstadt. Remember, um, if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you'll remember I did a uh, Bundesliga, uh, Dritte Bundesliga um, uh, save with them using a more normal game uh, uh, add-on file and it didn't go very well and part of the reason why again is you have a number of players who are older the biggest problem I had with them was this guy Muslio who ends up being the uh, highest played uh, paid player on the team who's out for seven weeks at the beginning of the seasons with uh, of the season with Achilles tendonitis right so when you choose your team, you kind of have to look at this and you have to start thinking, man, what kind of changes am I going to have to make, right? Do I have a whole ton of guys who are like 30 plus? Now, you can play with guys who are 30 and over. It's not going to kill you, but it's going to change the type of save that you have, right? You kind of have to hold on to those older players instead of just sort of bending them off at the start um, because you have to make sure that they get their game time in and uh, you have to make sure that you uh, preserve the morale on your team. Turning your uh, uh, manager, your character, into somebody who has a lot of experience can help a little bit, but that'll really only help just a little bit. It won't, it won't like be the uh, the great you know equalizer and in, in, or whatever it is that you might think. It's going to uh, make things still pretty difficult um, because you have to worry again about uh, the morale of your players. And if you come in and you start like selling everybody, as I've done in the past, um, you're going to wind up with um, a lot of problems. Now, let's see if I can find where FC Seoul went. Um, it might take me a little while because uh, it's been a little while since um, I've uh, really hopped onto this and uh, looked at everything from this perspective. I'm trying to remember which uh, league they have us in. So we'll uh, take a little look around and see if we can find them. But uh, our most recent save with um, FC Seoul had um, a lot of the same problems. May have been down here somewhere. I'm trying to remember. Um... There's Guangzhou, Incheon, uh, Songham, Shandong, um, Beijing. So it wasn't that league. It was probably back here somewhere. I'm trying to remember. Anyway, but uh, with FC Seoul, once we do eventually um, come across them, we're going to see that we had a lot of the same problems. That's right. It was in the A League. There we go. One of the things you can see, too, that will show you whether it's going to be easy or hard is uh, where the media expects you to finish. So if you're expected there to finish what, uh, you're going to finish 10th, right? It's kind of a problem if you're expected to finish in 10th place um, because uh, if you wind up uh, finishing um, in something uh, below 10th place, like um, if you finish in, I don't know, uh, you know, uh, 20th place or something, uh, your board is going to be pretty frustrated with you. Even if you went through like I recently did and uh, fire all your players and restructure the squad. FC Seoul is one of the harder squads to uh, work with. I mean, you don't have anybody injured at the start of the season, which is a good thing. Now you've got Goyo Han, who's 34. Osmar, who's a star, is 34. 
Uh, Ling Sang Hyun is 33. Ki Sung Young is 33. I mean, this is the thing. You have all of these guys who are old, and you got to get rid of them ideally at the beginning of the season. Plus, you have a bunch of other Korean players who end up uh, going out for military duty. I mean, that's not really that much fun to play with, right? It can create a lot of problems early on um, if you're not careful. Um, and so you come into, well, what is a little bit easier, right? Let's say that we want to just sort of have some fun and we want to do, you know, a save with the team that maybe is not expected to do anything. And we kind of want to like reconstitute everything, make the team up in our image. Well, this is where we go down to the very bottom. Now, the cool thing about World Super League is that uh, you have a lot of these teams that are really, really at the bottom of the bottom. Um, my favorite thing to do with World Super League, I do it every time I play with this once I get tired with the other saves, um, is to pull out Hallam. Hallam is uh, one of the oldest football clubs in the world, um, and um, Hallam have a very small stadium. Sandy Gate's really funny in game because it looks like an actual stadium in real life. It doesn't look like anything else, just a field. Um, Hollander picked to uh, finish 23rd. It's about as low as you can get in terms of reputation for World Super League. Oh, and look at this. We have a whole bunch of guys who are 30 and over. That's going to make this even more fun. Uh, but what you notice when you look at this is that just about everybody on this team is going to be a new gen. And uh, that's kind of a nice thing. It's kind of what we like to see because we can quickly turn the team around and uh, kind of remake it in our own image. And, of course, the best part um, is that uh, when we look here, uh, let's see if it gives us a uh, season preview. Um, when we look, yeah, so they're picked to finish 24th, actually, by the media in the season preview out of 24 teams. What that means is that if we make a lot of changes and do a lot of wild things, it doesn't really matter. As long as we can find players who will actually come to play for our team, you know, um, we'll be okay. We probably will end up finishing better than 24th unless I really, you know, have a problem and uh, am unable to get anything accomplished. The team has basically no money, so anything we do uh, pretty much is going to wind up uh, being positive. And uh, so that might be where we look to go next. Um, it gives you an idea, though, of how the game can be easier or more difficult, sort of depending upon expectations and depending upon the mess that you have when you uh, join the team. Uh, some, play some teams are going to be pretty easy to deal with, and some teams are going to give you a lot of headaches. So keep that in mind next time uh, you're trying to figure out what you want to do for your next save. Talk to you later. Bye.